much support to the Greeks as we can. Εκατοντάδες διαδήλωσαν έξω από την ελληνική πρεσβεία στο Λονδίνο στα πλαίσια των κινητοποιήσεων συμπαράστασης που πραγματοποιούνται σε όλο τον κόσμο ενάντια στην άνοδο του φασισμού στην Ελλάδα. We know where this gets you. It gets you to a bleak place in which the most vulnerable in our society are left on their own. Hey, ho! Golden Dawn has got to go. Say hey, hey ho! Golden Dawn has got to go. Say hey, hey, ho! Golden Dawn has got to go. Say hey, hey, ho! Golden Dawn has got to go. And we stand here outside the Greek embassy. Because we also see the indifference of some of your police to this oppression and aggression. And we stand with you at this moment. We show solidarity with those in Greece that are standing up against the neo-Nazis and the real Nazis that exist in Greece. The cause of the economic problems in Greece is the same as the cause of the economic problems all over Europe. Unbridled greed, free market economics and blaming the poor for their poverty, cut their benefits, cut public expenditure, create higher unemployment and a greater gap between the richest and the poorest. You've all heard the narrative, you've all heard the rubbish, you've all heard the racism before. The way forward, my friends, is unity, is solidarity, is a society based on need not greed, on providing for everyone so no one lives in poverty and no one is homeless. The message is the same all across Europe. Solidarity with Athens, solidarity against the Nazis. There's thousands of us across the country, across the world, demonstrating against Nazi scum. And in each of those struggles, we are winning. It is not true. At the moment, though we face the Nazis growing in Europe, that they are in the total ascendancy. That's the reason why the demonstration that's taken place inside Athens, as we gather now, has got thousands of people. We say never again. We say never again to Jablinka, to Auschwitz. We say never again to the Pink Triangle, to the people being sent to the gas chambers. We say never again to the communists and the trade unions who were sent to their death. We say never again to the women who were told that they had to stay inside the kitchen and look after the children. We say that history will not repeat itself because we will stand against it and we will win and we will fight. Six against CDDLs will stand with you wherever you are. Thank you very much. Today, from the United States to Australia, people are marching in solidarity with the comrades in St. Ogma Square in Athens. And we are together as one body, as one group that stands united to say, smash Golden Dawn and smash the Nazis wherever they attempt to raise their heads. The 1930s saw the victory of fascism in several countries across the world. We are not going to allow this crisis to produce the victory of fascism again. And we need a broad movement, a movement that openly draws in the broadest group of possible, but which is also prepared to confront the Nazis whenever they attempt to organize. In Greece, we have to ask ourselves why it is that Golden Dawn has risen. And there is a huge responsibility for the mainstream politicians. It was Pasok and New Democracy that started whipping up the hatred of immigrants in 2008. They have grown because their lies have been given sustenance by the mainstream politicians in Greece. And it continues to today. It is New Democracy that rounded up 60,000 immigrants 
It is new democracy that has brought four and a half thousand immigrants in concentration camp style pens. And those politicians who peddle the lies against immigrants are making it easier for the fascists to grow. And it's the same here. When David Cameron or Labour politicians who ought to know better tell us that multiculturalism has failed or that there are too many immigrants in Britain, they are doing the work of the Nazis and the English Defence League. And we have to set ourselves against the attacks on immigrants, the attacks on multiculturalism. Blame the bosses and the bankers, not immigrants. Blame those at the top of society, not those who are the victims of that society. And my final point is this. The struggle against fascism cannot be separated from the struggle against austerity. It is the social crisis, the five rounds of attacks by the Troika of the European Union, the ECB and the International Monetary Fund. It is the constant assaults upon the health service and education and workers' wages and pensions and housing. It is that which has provided fertile ground for the Nazis to grow in Greece. In Greece there is a slogan, fascists, bankers, troika, you scum all work together. And we stand against the fascists, against the attempt of the Nazis to organise, whether it's in Greece or in Britain, but we also need to struggle against austerity. The strikes, the mass protests, the general strike, that is the hope that can push aside the fascist menace. Those who impose and implement the cuts are making it easier for the fascists to rise. Comrades, we stand in solidarity with the Greek people rising against fascism. We also dedicate ourselves to the struggle against the fascists here and the struggle against austerity. Thank you. In golden dawn, you have classic Nazis trying to build on a difficult economic situation. Attacking migrants, killing migrants. In Parliament, just in the very recent period, they read out the protocol for the elders of Zion. So, comrades, it's really important that we're here today to show our solidarity with democracy in Greece and against Golden Dawn. Not just the Golden Dawn in Greece, but the EDL in Britain. We must not allow them to get a footing based on the despair of the people that we now face at the moment. Um, immigrant communities, Pakistani, Turkish, Kurdish, other um, Cypriot um, uh, immigrant communities in Greece have mobilized in tens of thousands along with the labor movement, uh, members of Syriza, PASOK, the Communist Party in Antisir, and today that has all culminated in the united anti-fascist demonstration in Athens today where everyone is saying never again. In the student movement we have a principle that we fought a long time for, the principle of no platform. And I'm sad to say that's currently under attack in the student movement. And we have to do every single thing that we can to oppose that and defend the principle of no platform for fascists. Not now, not ever. And one thing I want to say is this, is that when we do have unity, we can actually stop and halt the tide of racism and reaction and drive back fascists. In, in Cambridge, where um, the BMP were invited to speak, we managed to launch a successful campaign uniting many communities, black, Jewish, LGBT, disabled, women, trade unionists, United Against Fascism, Searchlight, all united together to say no to the BMP getting onto our campuses, because that is exactly what they want. They want to be able to come onto our campuses, spread their hatred, spread their you know, division, and we have to say no to that. So I'm looking forward to working, to continuing working with Unite Against Fascism, building a student movement that prioritises fighting racism, fighting fascism and Islamophobia, and together we can beat these guys back. To those of you in Greece we say, you are not alone in your fight against fascism. British Turks and our brothers and sisters in Turkey and North Cyprus stand together with you today to fight against fascism and racism. The mainstream political parties are actually following the type of policies that they suggest. They're doing pogroms using the police in the center of Athens. Okay, they're enclosing immigrants in concentration camps. 
And this means that essentially they have already won a big part of the public discourse. This is a dangerous thing. We should be clear that the high priests of austerity everywhere are partly responsible for the growth of fascism in Greece. But there is hope, and we've got to be clear at a time like this, there is hope that we have a movement in Greece led by Syriza which has stood firm both against austerity and against the fascist threat. And that gives us all hope because we know that if we fight back, that we fight and stand together, we can win. And that is the message for us all today, I think. It is this. We stand together, we fight together, we will win together. If the left is to become hegemonic in Greece, there will be a huge attack from using the fascists and the Nazis against the left, against all the left, and regardless of the political parties. The anti-fascist movement in Greece has given a huge opportunity to all left movements to unite, okay, to try to give an answer and to strike back against the Nazis. There are comrades from different political parties working together in the neighborhoods and in the streets for the same objective. This is the main objective we should have in all Europe, not just in Greece. The left should be united in the strike against Nazism. Thank you very much. Πολλοί υποστήριξαν το κάλεσμα για ένα ενιαίο μέτωπο πάλι για τη συντριβή των Ναζί στην Ελλάδα και σε όλη την Ευρώπη. Ποτέ ξανά. Ποτέ ξανά. A lot of people of my age generate remember the 1930s and remember the fascists in Britain and the march on East London. And uh, never again is a slogan which has been developed by the left to try and warn people of. Uh, the need to remember the history and not be misled by the propaganda today. Potexana, Potexana.